Hi everyone, Melanie here from Balloon Artworks and today I've got another really easy balloon animal for you. I'm going to be showing you how to make a balloon fish. For your balloon fish you're going to need a 260. I'm using orange and I've inflated to a tail of approximately four fingers. So this is nice and soft. Twist a bubble of two to two and a half fingers and then twist another bubble that is very similar in size. Bend the two, or bend the first balloon over, the first bubble over, take hold of that knot and nozzle and twist the two bubbles together, okay? We're now going to make a pinch twist. We're going to pinch twist these two bubbles and there are different ways to do that, but I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to do that when the two bubbles are at the start of your balloon. So just take hold of that knot and nozzle, pull it through the center of those two bubbles, wrap it around and just let it go there, okay? So you've got two pinch twisted bubbles. So give your balloon a squeeze, send a little bit of air further down the balloon. And then we want to make a bubble that is approximately three to four fingers, okay? And then, sorry, three to four inches and then make another bubble to match, okay? Doesn't have to be exact, close is good enough. Bend the balloons over and twist those together, okay? Again, give your balloon a bit of a squeeze. Bend the balloon over, we want to make another bubble to match this one. Again, very close in size, okay? And then we're going to pass this bubble through the center of these two bubbles. And this is called a roll through, okay? So just part these bubbles slightly at the same time as you push that bubble through the center and then just lock everything together here. Give your balloon a bit of a squeeze. And next, make a loop that is approximately four fingers and then twist that around, give your balloon a bit of a squeeze and make another bubble to match this one. Okay, again, close is good enough. And wrap those around, okay. I'm fully inflated here, so I want to let some air out, but the, air, the balloon is feeling really quite tight here and there is a good chance if I'm not careful that it will pop. So I need to just twist off a little bit of latex at the end, okay? I'm going to just snip the end with my scissors and make a small hole, and then very slowly, I'm going to let the air out, okay? So I just want a little bubble here. So I'm now going to tie a knot in the end here. Take hold of the, the bubble in the end here. Pull the bubble upwards. Okay, and I'm taking hold of that uh, knot, I'm keeping hold of that, and as I twist that bubble around and pinch twist it, twist it round a few times, and then I can let go of that knot. So this is a great one balloon animal design for line work, but if you've got a bit more time, there is something else that you can do just to ha enhance this design. So take a piece of 260, so we all keep our little bits of scraps. So this is a great use for a 260 white scrap. And then twist off a bubble of about two and a half fingers. And then twist off another bubble of a couple of fingers. Bring the two together, hold on to that knot and nozzle and twist, okay? And this time I'm going to take the body of the balloon and wrap that through the center. And I'm doing that this way rather than using the knot and nozzle purely because I've just got a little bit more to play with here. Snip off the end and just tie, okay? So that's what you've got there. Just part these bubbles and wedge the eyes into the front of the fish's face, okay? and then you can just position them however you want them to look. 
and then take a sharpie pen i really like these brush tip sharpies because they're really quick to use and i'm just going to draw an eye okay and do the same thing on the other side so there's your ballooned fish i'll see you again in the next lesson